Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Moto G30 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. And when you put it up for the first time, you'll be presented with the, um, I guess, aptly named Hide Air Screen. So all you need to do here is simply select your desired language. Now, for me, it's already selected by default, but you can just find your desired language here and choose it by clicking on it. From there, tap on start and you'll be taken to the insert SIM card option. Now, this is, like I said, an option, so you don't actually have to do it, you can skip it. Um, and you basically don't miss out on anything. The moment you want to insert your SIM card, it will work as intended, so yeah. Now going to the next page, we have Wi-Fi connection, so here we can log into our Wi-Fi. And again, just as before, we can skip it if, for instance, you might not have a network connection, which well, could be a possibility, then don't worry, you can just simply skip it, and that's about it. But by skipping it, you will lose the option to log into your Google account throughout the setup, and also um, you will most likely have to set up a date and time uh, manually. So yeah, now I'm gonna skip it anyway, because I don't really care about logging into Google. And from here we have Google services, so we have things like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. Uh, now, I'm not really gonna go into it. Uh, most of them are just data gathering trash. If you don't want it, you can disable it. If you are really interested in uh, what this is, you can click on the arrow, expand the list, and basically read what it exactly does. Uh, give or take probably some key, diff uh, well, key actual specifics on what it exactly does because it's Google, but yeah, you will get the gist of it. So let's tap on accept. And then we have the option to set up a screen lock. Now it looks like by default it opts into a four digit pin, but we can tap right over here and change it to either pattern or also password. I'm gonna go with the pattern. Now, if you don't want any of those, you can simply tap on skip if you wanted to, but I do want to set up a protection, so let's draw that one. We draw the same pattern and confirm it and voila, we have now protection on our device. Now, it looks like automatically it goes into a fingerprint next, um, but because I don't really want to fiddle with the fingerprint sensor on the back, I'm just gonna skip it. And here we have privacy and software update. Obviously we do need to accept. Then we have Motorola, uh, let's stay in touch, let's not. So I'm not gonna provide anything. And uh, we're basically done with the setup. It just gives us a guide on how to use the gesture navigation. So get started, it gives you swipe up to go home, uh, swipe up and hold to go to recent, and then go back by swiping from the sides, cool. Um, if any of you use the phone in the last two years, you probably are aware on how gesture navigation works. So let's swipe up and voila, we're finished with the setup. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.